How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President, New Age Electric. I wanted to demonstrate a quick tutorial on how to change your Acubid database while within a Acubid file. And you might be wondering why you might want to do this, but I'm going to jump in and I'll explain why you might want to jump back and forth between databases. Let's jump into it. Okay, so first off, to know what database you're actually in, there is a description of where your database is located. So this is the database that comes with Acubit. It's the ELEC USA NECA, and I believe that's Imperial. I can't see the whole thing. But what you're going to end up doing when you first purchased Acubit is you might want to do a backup of this database and then also do a save as so you can manipulate and custom build your own database you might not need all this in the common assemblies if you could just go into branch content and wire and a lot of this stuff is already here already it's 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 redundant but it is a it does give you multiple ways to uh, approach this program and, and I, see, I see why they do it there's different ways you can run conduit you can pick different ways to do it but overall many ways to do it so let's jump into it it's very simple on the top here you're gonna see database database manager which actually opens up database manager for you to edit your your database and keep in mind you, you cannot be in the database um, you cannot be in the database when you have Acubit files um, utilizing that database uh, price update updates your price and then you do see there's a select button if you hit select it's gonna show you other other databases that are located in that program data Acubit database database file, uh, folder um, so if you have multiple databases I it's you know you maybe you have different locals in your shop or you might have um, like in healthcare you might have a a building database just specifically for that building so the estimators know they click that building they got the right wire uh, back boxes devices you can be pretty thorough with multiple databases if you have like a you know if you got a shop that does different buildings and stuff like that so if you click this and you hit OK you see how my common assembly changes this is all my custom built database you can jump back and forth um, and keep in mind it's it's not just the items in here and assemblies it's also labor so if you have different labor it will change everything for you um, you can always jump back and forth here's the other one I can show you that it jumps back uh, this tells you that uh, problems had to be being detected uh, please select so they're saying that this is not found within the takeoff items once again Alfred Flores thank you for watching